Hi, lovely black woman. Thank you. I love black women. Anyone here ever fuck black women? I know black guys don't. Let me tell you this. Black women are amazing. You talk shit, you're like, I'm gonna tear you apart, white boy. And then I get all excited. I'm like, this is gonna be wicked. And then you're like, watch my hair, my nails. Why are you on my Metro card? And then we're loosening up now, people. This is exciting. Don't check out on me, older woman. Overall societal acceptance has made this okay. So if a minority goes, you know what? Work is too tough, and I don't feel like I'm getting enough sleep, so I should not have to work in the morning. We'd be like, yeah, morning work is racist when people just want to sleep in. The other notion is the whole idea of racism. It's so taboo now to even admit, like, if people were to come after me for some of my jokes, and no comedian's ever done this, people would go, Sarah Silverman would go, I'm sorry I did blackface. Jimmy Kimmel just takes a vacation to people forget about it. <laughs> but, like, no one has ever said this, and I'm going to be the first comedian to say this on record when someone goes, oh, that Pete Davidson Islam joke that you do is offensive. It's racist. And here's what I'm going to say. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little racist. No one's ever said that. And I think it's a, how do you come back at that? How do you bounce back? And you go, yeah, sometimes I'm a little racist. Come back against racist Jews? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know people have been trying to figure that one out for a long time. Uh, you know, this propaganda machine. 
And so you guys probably find the same thing where you say the things that a lot of people identify with, they snicker at, and they then they're like, oh, am I allowed to laugh? But yeah. it's like, yes, you can. And yes, you can say retarded and gay. I'm so tired of language yeah. policing just by the way. She said it. I'm so happy. 